there's so much on the internet and all of it's trash. There's so much that we can do to make it better. So the other month, uh, as you all know if you've been watching this channel, we collectively, as a channel, as a community, we created the site Bay.Cooking, okay? Because I hate bloated internet uh, recipe websites. So we made this, it was sort of a community endeavor, right? Um, where the whole idea is, let's just have a recipe site that doesn't have ads and trackers, it just has recipes and that's about it. Anyone could submit an article. Um, and I think that worked pretty well. I haven't actually been accepting new recipes recently because I feel like there's a lot on it. I need to organize it a little more, bit more. But there is a new base dot cook, base dot cooking, base for the technologic technological sphere. I, I'm just totally messing up everything I say today. Um, and that is landchad.net. So the other month, I actually bought the domain landchad.net for, um, I, I think I was doing a tutorial, but I figured, let's actually put this to use. Here is the problem that I see. Two, two problems, this solves both, both of them. Firstly, there are way too many internet peasants. I've talked about this before. We have Facebook peasants, we have Twitter peasants. God forbid we even have Reddit peasants, people who do not have an existence out of this, you know, social engineering Skinner's box social media site that they use. They don't have their own website. They don't have their own existence outside of that. That is one problem, okay? Secondly, um, there are, the information for how to make your own website is out there. It's definitely out there. In fact, you can do all kinds of stuff on websites. Uh, if you have your own server, uh, to be clear, uh, you can host your own email. You can host your own website. You can host your own chat servers. You can host your own federated social media. You can do anything yourself, but it's just all over the internet. The information is not in one central location that's nice and accessible. Let's fix that. Let's fix both, both of those problems in one sitting. That is what this site, landchad.net, is about, okay? What it is, is, you know, and I've done videos on how to create your own website, but um, the idea behind the site is putting it in text and image format so people can nice and easily copy it. They can browse it on different, you know, you don't have to watch a video and go back and forth all the time. Um, so really all this is, okay, at the, at the basic level, it's a site to help you start your own website and start your own... Uh, any kind of web service that you want, be that an email server, be that a Nextcloud instance where you host your own files, be that, I don't know, anything. So here's what I have so far, okay? And I'm, uh, I'm gonna work about how this site w looks like. I'm still tr sort of toying around with it. Um, now here is the main, I guess, lessons, right? So you can go through it. If you don't know anything about starting your own website, it will drag you through it. You can click on the articles, tells you the basic terms, you know, you know, you need to know, and goes through, okay, how do you get your own domain name, okay? Now, how do I get my own VPS? How do I host, you know, a website? How do I connect it, you know, with DNS? It goes through the whole thing, and I, again, I've done videos on this, but I just want to put it in kind of a text format, right? Um, and it goes through the whole rigmarole. We can actually go back to the main page. Um, and once you do the basic course, which can take less than an hour if you're doing it nice and fast, if you're speed running it, you can do it in less than an hour or so. Um, but once you have that done, no matter how little you know, you should end up with your own personal website. That's it, okay? Nice and simple. And then I plan on working on, I have in progress, you know, an HTML tutorial, CSS tutorial, uh, email server tutorial, uh, probably one setting up manually and then using my script that makes it super easy. I'll probably have maybe a, an article for both of those. Um, so I have a whole bunch of stuff here. Um, the other articles I have done, oh, I gotta change the formatting on these. Um, but I have some, you know, random articles and I actually have some on cryptocurrency as well. This might seem not related, but it definitely is because um, uh, you know, the thing with cryptocurrency is it's, you know, you might think it's, oh, just some meme and, you know, it's all investment and maybe it's, I'm, I'm worried about putting money in it. But the way I look at it is it's the only way of exchanging peer-to-peer -peer digital, you know, value, right? And I think that everyone who has their own website should have, should at least open up wallets in Bitcoin and Monero and accept uh, donations. Now, it's not really about the money. It's more about the technology, right? So we're moving to this federated and peer-to-peer -peer future. We should do it right even in all domains, even especially in money. Um, so I put, you know, a couple articles on the, uh, these are already up because, you know, they were easy to write. 
Um, so I have these two little courses and there will be many more. Uh, I have a couple articles on HTML coming out. Now I, I should say all of this is on uh, the GitHub. I think I just changed stuff in here or something. Um, all of this is already on a GitHub thing where you can go to, you can, I don't know if you have issues with the site or pull requests, you can, could, can submit something here. Actually, it looks like people already found it. I don't know how they found this already. I didn't even announce it. Uh, announce it. Um, but here's, uh, I, I actually include uh, an RSS feed on the site. So if you want to subscribe to updates or whatever, you can get them. Um, uh, working on the HTML and CSS thing right now, the email server, all this kind of stuff I'm sort of working on intermittently. And additionally, similar to base.cooking, like base.cooking, I did not make this site myself. Most of the stuff now, probably like 95% of these are not written by me, right? Maybe they were rev revised by me, but you know, they weren't written by me because I allowed people to submit articles that they wanted to contribute, right? And the same thing here, there are other things that I don't really feel like writing an article about, or, you know, I've never set up a Nextcloud instance. So if someone already has, if you want to submit an article, you're free to do that, and you can give yourself credit at the bottom of the page, include your website, donation links, whatever. Um, so yeah, all this kind of stuff I'm sort of looking for. Uh, Movim, I really, does anyone have a Movim server? Does someone want to do that? I mean, that's a very rare thing. I wanted to start a Movim ser server, but other stuff like uh, uh, Peertube, Pleroma, um, or just basic stuff like using uh, UFW as a firewall, um, you know, IRC servers and stuff like that. So if you have experience with any of this, feel free to, you know, volunteer, you know, write a little article or whatever. Um, the only thing is I want, I want like systematicity between it all, you know, I guess between all the articles. Um, I want them all written for Debian 10. That's the operating system I've decided to go with, uh, and for different reasons, but, uh, so don't write an article for like CentOS or something like that. Oh, my phone's ringing. Hold on. I'll be right back. Ugh. Okay, that was nothing. That was just my robot girlfriend, Amy, from uh, Medical Services. She calls me like five times a day. It's really, I don't know, she's very clingy. Anyway, that's actually about it, though. Um, so if you do not have a website, go to this site, landchad.net, right now and follow the basic tutorial. Um, I'm going to do some tweaking to this, but right now it totally works. You can totally get your own website nice and easy. You can do it in under an hour. Uh, and once you have that, like, you're set. Like, it's all... You know, what can I add on to this? And I'll be finishing up hopefully the HTML and basic CSS tutorials pretty soon. Um, uh, I've, I've, I'm glad recently I've actually had a lot of friends in real life working on websites. So it actually clues you into what people get confused by and it's just the little things that you take for granted. I mean, I'm the kind of guy, I think a lot of you guys in tech are probably like this, but I you just sort of always remember knowing HTML. It's just like, it's kind of osmosis. Like there are a lot of people who have been using computers. You just always remember knowing it. But I, you know, it's been nice being exposed to my friends in real life who, you know, run into problems and stuff like that. Anyway, um, so submit an article if you want. Enjoy the site. Um, yeah, it's, it's great. Start your own website. What are you doing if you don't have a website? It's so easy. It's so easy to do it. I don't know what's wrong with you. Uh, oh, I need a, oh, okay, I need to do, do an article on creating an RSS feed too. I'm gonna put that in. But uh, yeah, that's about it. Check it out. See you guys next time.